Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got a lot of emulator news to talk about in this video. I've been talking about emulators a lot in my past couple of videos with the PS3 emulator. Obviously, you have Simu, the Wii U emulator, and we're going to be talking about both those things because a lot of information and something real cool with the Wii U emulator has just come out. Somebody playing Breath of the Wild very well. So I wanted to bring attention to that if you guys haven't checked that out. First of all, I want to talk about RPCS3. They had their progress report for August 2017. And I think whenever they release a progress report going over the updates and what's going on with the emulator, I'll go over it too because I know a lot of you guys are interested in this emulator. Because as I've mentioned before, I think the PS3 is one of the most underrated consoles ever. I think it just had a great lineup of exclusives. And at some point, if we can emulate those on PC and we can play them really well. There's also that game Red Dead Redemption. You know, I think a lot of us would be a very happy camper, but they go over a lot of the games. They even have a graph of going over what's playable, what can get in game, what can get to the intro, what's loadable, and then what you can get absolutely nothing in. So from July to August, they went from 278 playable games in July to 403 playable games in August. As far as in game goes, they went from 588 to 757, and then the intro 747 to 900, and then and loadable and nothing they went down on since obviously things are getting better. As far as exact games go, there's titles like Dead Space Extraction where after they did the rewrite, that went from 17 FPS to around 28 FPS and keep in mind PS3 games run at around that frame rate usually 24 to 30 frames per second, so 28 FPS is actually very comparable to what you're going to get on the PS3. We know that Persona 5 has been running well, Catherine has been running well, Devil May Cry from the HD collection, that's been running well, Dragon's Crown, which is a really good PS3 exclusive, I believe it's on the Vita too, and then the Metal Gear Solid games from the HD collection, those are running well, Nino Kuni is a lot better, that's one of the best JRPGs ever, and that's running really well on the emulator, as is Near Replicant. The only issue with Near replicant is that it's nearly playable however there are a lot of crashes but that's been getting fixed over the last few months red dead redemption once again it saw improvements to overall graphics and performance it's a bit hard to quantify some areas of the game are still unchanged and others run a bit faster graphics are looking good however grass and trees are a bit broken but overall lighting shadows and characters seem to be getting better and obviously red dead redemption is one of the main games people want to play if it's through emulation i think at this point you're gonna just take what you can get shadow of the colossus HD is a big one because if you guys are familiar with the PS2 emulator, Shadow of the Colossus is one of the harder games to run on that emulator, even on my PC. If I want to up the resolution and things like that, that game really starts bugging out. And performance for Shadow of the Colossus HD, it's pretty poor. You're going down to single digit frame rates, but it went from a crashy broken mess before and now you can get in game, you can somewhat play it. So yeah, improvements nonetheless. And then there have also been improvements in some other titles, Skate 3, Yakuza. I'm not gonna go over everything that's said, I'll leave the blog post in the description box down below, but this emulator is making insane amounts of progress. If you told me a year ago that a PS3 emulator would be moving along this fast, I would have said that you're crazy because I know about the PS3's architecture and how big of an issue that was for a lot of developers to make games for it initially, and I just didn't know if a PS3 emulator would become reality in the near future, but honestly in the next year or two. But with the progress, RPCS3 is making that deaf proved me wrong. The one other thing I want to talk about is something really cool that I saw. Somebody uploaded footage of them playing Breath of the Wild in native 4K and 60 frames per second. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. It was uploaded by a YouTube user Bradley and the game runs really well. Keep in mind that this game does I believe play at 30 FPS on the Switch and the Wii U. So seeing it run in 60 FPS, you can even see it in the video. It's not 60 FPS consistently. It hovers around like 48 to 57, but you can tell right away like this game looks amazing running on Steam, running on PC. Now, the only thing is this guy does have a crazy overclocked i5-7600K. It's liquid-cooled. It's at 5.3 gigahertz, so obviously this isn't going to be feasible for everybody, but if you want to take a look at it, I highly recommend that you do. Maybe it's something that I'll try out. I still haven't messed with Simu all too much. One of my friends goes on about how great Breath of the Wild is on it, and if we can take it to 60 FPS and 4K, this dude is running it at 4K 60 FPS, and the fact is it is with an i5. It's liquid-cooled. That's not anything crazy. That is very impressive, so definitely check that out. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box down below. Video's already got 24,000 views, but honestly, it should have way more than that. I just think it's amazing how this game is running on PC. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts as well, what you think about RPCS3, as well as this Zelda video, which I think just looks absolutely amazing. I definitely gotta try this out soon. Let me know if you've tried 
tried Breath of the Wild on PC and how it runs on your rig, if you can also list your specifications. That'll help quite a bit. And that's gonna wrap up this video. Like I said, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.